Scott, is it possible my game of the year last year is heading to Xbox? Final Fantasy 16 producer drops Ooh. Xbox release tease. Oh boy, let's go. Logan Moore of a comicbook.com. It seems that a long enough timeline Final Fantasy 16 should end up releasing on Xbox Series X and S following its launch as a timed exclusive on PlayStation 5 this past year. Square Enix eventually confirmed that it was working on a version of the game for PC. For now, the Japanese publisher has yet to verify that the latest mainline Final Fantasy installment will come to other platforms such as Xbox, Scott. But a new statement all but confirms that this will happen. That's right. In a new conversation with Noisy Pixel, Final Fantasy 16 producer Naoki Yoshida was asked about how he felt about having a having to say goodbye to the world and characters with the release of the Rising Tide DLC, which, yo, I cannot wait to get into, Scott. I cannot wait to be back <laughs> in the world of Final Fantasy 16. It was such a great game, which will launch next month. In response, Yoshida said that the DLC won't really mark the end of the game's life as it will then end up being ported to PC. From there, those at Square Enix will then determine if the title should come to other platforms outside of PC. Quote, it's not over in the sense that we have the PC version, end quote, Yoshida said. Quote, once the PC version is released, we're thinking about hopefully moving to other platforms as well. However, that's not really talking about the story. It's more about moving it onto different platforms. So there's a sense that while the project is still going, there is not the sense of being sad and having to leave them yet, end quote. The story's not over yet. The story's not over yet, but he's not gonna continue on it sounds like once the rising tide is done the game is done but the story yeah to bring it to other platforms is still in discussion i'm i'm wondering if this is a hint towards 16 too Ooh. the characters the story we're not yet left we're not leaving that behind yet it's not the end of the story is what i'm reading <laughs> maybe i'm looking a little too far into this but <laughs> maybe maybe obviously yoshida saying that quote other platforms end quote would be considered doesn't guarantee the Final Fantasy 16 will come to Xbox, but it's the most obvious destination for the game, given that Final Fantasy... What is that, Scott? 10? No, 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 it's not. 14. Oh, no, that's 16. That's 16. Why did I go blank all of a sudden? It's currently only on PS5. It's safe to assume that the game would be far too much for the Nintendo Switch to handle. That's, that's an understatement. Yeah, uh, I'm currently wondering <laughs> if my PC will uh, set on fire. <laughs> <laughs> this could end up changing in the future, though, as the Switch 2, unofficially named, is rumored to be launching at the same point, at some point in early 2025. Assuming that this hardware has far more power than it's disposable, nah, eh, I don't know about that. We'll see. Will we? Man, I don't know if you'll get Final Fantasy 16 over on Switch hardware at all. I think they'd like to bring it there, but the Switch 2 has to really step it up in order to handle this game, man. This game packs a punch, Scott. Yeah, I've seen some of the larger set pieces, some of the cutscenes to this game, and that's why I'm thinking, I don't know if my PC is going to run that. I haven't looked at the specs to know that for sure, but it's safe to say a Nintendo Switch currently will not. No, absolutely. For now, the PC iteration of Final Fantasy 16 doesn't have a specific release date at all, but is likely to drop at some point in 2024. As for the aforementioned DLC, The Rising Tide, it will hit on PS5 versions of Final Fantasy 16 on April 19th. I can't wait. Dude, I'm so pumped. It's, it's going to be great to be back in the world of Final Fantasy and just keep playing a little bit more. Uh, Final Fantasy 16 is, as I said, last year is my game of the year. It was an incredible experience. Yeah. So, And I'm not even one of the biggest Final Fantasy fans. Uh, a little bit different, obviously, than Rebirth and Final Fantasy 7 Remake. There's a, there's actually there's a big difference between those games. But it's still, Final Fantasy not going anywhere. But finally, can we finally get 16 over on the Xbox? I think that's the biggest thing, Scott. And fans are hungry and they're starving for it, aren't they? Oh, I would absolutely love to eat that game up. <laughs> the same way I did with 15. Nobody seemed to like that one except for me. But I was very <laughs> happy when it came up on the Xbox. <laughs> that was funny. It was a different take, right? It was definitely a different spinoff of the boy band scenario going on. But yeah, I wasn't this... ready to leave that character band behind either. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. But fingers crossed, Final Fantasy 16 may become an Xbox.